Today, we're talking about some Amazon finds that are so bougie and so wonderful that they are worth the splurge. Now, the first Amazon find that is so bougie that it is worth the splurge is the Super King duvet. Now, I've been talking about the same duvet by Royal Living my entire time here on YouTube, but my opinion has changed. Now, I just found this one, and this is a Super King. It sounds like something right off the Burger King menu, but it is not a food item. This is an extra large duvet. If you find yourself a fighting with your spouse in the middle of the night about who has enough covers or who has more covers, the argument is over. I'm saving your marriage. It drapes at least a good 12 inches on either side of my bed and I'm obsessed with it. It's super lightweight. It reminds me of the duvets that they have at the Four Seasons if you ever stayed there and it's giving luxury. And it's not the same price as the Four Seasons one because I did look at it and then I promptly closed my computer because I'm not paying <laughs> that much money for a duvet. But it feels super lightweight. It's not super heavy, but it is is very warm. Now, I'm not going to say this is something you want to use all seasons. This is good for fall and winter and maybe spring, depending upon where you live, but this is not something you're going to want on your bed in the summer. I'm going to be fully transparent about that, but I love this. It also does not have a feather smell at all, so if that is something that is concerning to you, you can keep that in mind. Now, I do believe they have an all seasons version as well, but I've not tried it yet, so I'm not going to recommend it, but this has replaced the Royal Living Duvet in my heart. I know. I cannot believe it. I never thought I'd say that, but this is the real deal. It's super bougie. It's super over the top because a king, a standard king one is just fine, but I love this. And for those of you who are going to comment below and ask, well, what duvet cover do I put on this? Have you ever noticed that your duvet covers are always a little bit oversized? There's always a little bit of extra fabric and that drives me crazy. Well, and that extra fabric is just now going to be filled with that Super King. So you will actually finally find that your duvet cover doesn't look frumpy anymore and you're not tucking in those like little tidbits. You're going to be good to go. And this is so fantastic. The next bougie find from Amazon that is worth the splurge is this marble tray. Now this colorway has already sold out. So I'm going to link it down below and you guys are going to be like, Kiva, I can't find it. This one is already sold out because I shared it on Instagram first. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Follow me over on Instagram at kiva.brent if you wanna see the first to see the products because that's where I unbox everything. But this is fantastic. It's a nice scalloped marble tray. Um, it comes in this colorway, it comes in green, which is to die for, but Kiva, we don't need to buy any more trays. We have enough trays. It comes in that colorway. It also just comes in like a nice normal like Carrera marble um, and some other colors as well. So whatever color you fancy, they have. I believe this is around $55. It was $55.04 when I checked out, but it is so nice and hefty. Um, I found this doing some late night scrolling. That's what I do in the middle of the night. And this is great for your nightstand. I always often find that when I find trays, they're way too big to sit on top of a coffee table book or on my nightstand. This is great. I leave matches on here. I leave like tissues on here. I leave my phone on here. It can fit your jewelry. If you like to take your jewelry off at nighttime, which you should do. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So it can fit my jewelry on there. It's great. Do you need this? No, but if you're looking for another tray and you want something with a little bit more oomph because of the scalloping, this is it. This next thing is also very bougie. Obviously that's the point of this video, but I really love it. So this is the feather bed. I talked about this in my last Amazon video. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can click here to check it out. I talk about tons of products and pretty much all the other products that I talk about in that video are not in this video um, because they're different besides the feather bed. Now the feather bed is something that goes underneath your sheets or honestly underneath your mattress protector as well and basically what this does is it provides a nice plush layer underneath you know your bed think of it as a glorified um mattress pad i always find that mattress pads don't really do anything they're kind of lackluster and they're very expensive and i really don't like the tempur-pedic ones because if you weigh over like 120 pounds which i do um i feel like they dent very easily and then you've spent 300 dollars for what so the feather bed is something that they use at hotels like Bellagio and Four Seasons sometimes. So they use them at luxury hotels and I really love them. Now they are made out of feathers, so if ethically you're against that, that's totally fine. I totally respect that. Do not pick one of these up, but they also have down alternative feather beds. I've not ordered one yet, but I am working on one so that I can find one for you. So if you have any suggestions below, you can leave them down below, but it just sits underneath and it gives you a nice plush duvet-like feeling underneath. So you have a duvet on top of you and you have a duvet underneath and it's very nice. Now 
I have not found that it makes me run warm, but you know, to each their own. Now, what I will say, it's something that you definitely want to air out so that it can um, firm up so that it can fluff up because when they're compacting these things, they're compacting them. So they get all squished up and there's no air in between the feathers. Now, I will say a few of you have been saying that when you're getting the feather beds, um, there's something off. So I don't know what's going on with the manufacturer. I will look into it. You know, some this can happen sometimes with Amazon, but I have loved my feather bed since I've had it. They delivered it really quickly. It didn't have a very significant smell, but if you ever buy a product, um, on Amazon or anywhere and you don't like it, just return it if the quality is not good. Quality control is unfortunately something that I can't do anything about on the back end, but I will be in there in the comments telling people to do better quality control if that's what needs to be done. But this is a bougie find that I'm totally obsessed with. It has made my bed feel just like a hotel bed and I love that. You guys are gonna think I'm absolutely ridiculous with this splurge, but this is the switch bot. Now this is something you want if you have curtains in your home and you have really tall curtains and it's really hard to get them open because they're so heavy. Have your friend that your curtains are so heavy, it's so hard to open and close them and you get that ugly rod and you're like, oh, this is kind of ruining the entire vibe. Well, in it comes the Swish Bot. This is around $90. So again, it's a pretty penny. It's not cheap, but this is basically an electric curtain opener. It links with a free app on your phone and you can set it to open and close your curtains as you see fit. You can put it on a timer and you literally just press a button and it will open and close them. It also can be run using like your Alexa or whatever smart home you have. So you can be like, hey robot, open my curtains and it will do so. So this is a lot cheaper than like the electric open, like curtain openers you would get from like your curtain com company. So you're like blinds to go or whoever, I don't know. I don't know the names of them because I don't have any curtains, but I actually did this in my bathroom and it's been fine with the humidity. And I did this because our bathroom curtain is so tall and the grommet, like the holes are so small that I had such a hard time opening and closing it and I didn't want to cut them. So I got this to make it a lot easier. And I actually just set it to open at like a set time every day and we're good to go because we shower at the same time every day because I'm so particular and so uptight. <laughs> <laughs> the shower at 8 30 every day without fail so this is the bougie find that's going to elevate your living room your bathroom your bedroom anywhere you have curtains in your home this is going to make things so much easier and it works if you have grommets if you have clips if you have your curtain directly on the rod it does not matter this is going to take care of it i am a huge lover of pottery barn i love pottery barn i love their things but everything in the store is so freaking expensive it's so expensive i can't walk out of pottery barn without spending like 300 dollars, and i only buy one thing so i literally don't go anymore i do not enter the store anymore because it's just too expensive but something i love from Bottery bar is their picture frame their picture frames are so good that those are the picture frames i used to actually refer um requests that my clients purchased that was one of the splurges that we do for our products but i was like i'm tired of this i need to find something more affordable because their 20 by 20 is 129 dollars for just one picture frame and i just couldn't keep justifying this so this is bougie it's a splurge but it's way more affordable this is the 18 by 18 square frame from amazon so it's 49.50 or it was at the time of purchase for this and it comes with this huge mat the mat leaves it eight by eight so I'm doing a gallery wall above my bed so that's where I'm going to use these I've opened them up and they are so luxe so this is the gold it also comes in silver and black but it's not quite 20 by 20 so they're normally 20 by 20 this is 18 by 18 but you know I'd rather have it two inches smaller all around than pay so much more money but I do have some open in my bedroom already. I haven't scratched them yet, even though I've been throwing them around. The mat seems really, really high end, and I've been very impressed. They're still $50 a frame, which I know is a lot of money, but this is the best dupe I have found to date, um, and I have very been very impressed. Plus, I bought 12 of them. I bought 12 of them. I was on vacation, and somehow I ended up with 12 pictures in my cart, um, as one does, and not a single one of them was damaged from delivery, even though they have glass, not acrylic in the front. And you can see there is some depth in the back here so if you did want to put something thicker in there i think that would be a possibility because the actual um clip doesn't clip until at the back of the frame so you do have some leeway there if you want to put something a little bit thicker in a frame which i do love the next bougie splurge that is worth the splurge is the caraway cookware now full transparency it was gifted to me because i worked with them on a partnership but this stuff is good it's so good and i use it every single day and first of all it washes so easily it washes so easily i've had pots and pans before when i just felt like i was going to cry trying to get the pot and pan clean 
there's nothing in life worth that in my opinion and I cook every day I cook multiple meals a day and they're so easy to clean they go through the dishwasher super well and they come with this like storage stand but it's a magnetic sort of contraption that keeps all of your pots and pans organized and it fits super well like in your cupboard and sometimes they even leave mine on the countertop and love it and I think the pots and pans are pretty cute too so I'll leave them out on display I don't have a problem with them being out and about I've just really never been this impressed with some cookware before in my life because it's cookware like really how impressed can you be so it is non-stick um, it really doesn't scratch and it's super easy to clean and it also comes with like a lid storage organizer pouch which honestly I don't use because I just leave the lids on top of them I don't care if that's right or not I really like them and they're worth the splurge because they are like 400 some dollars so I think it's always really important to get someone like in a non-sponsored way to be like hey I would pay for these pots and pans and I really do feel that way I'm going to actually buy a new saucepan because I need another one but wow the quality is unmatched I tried them before before working with them um, in other cat in smaller capacities I didn't buy the whole set so I got like a potter pan was impressed work with them and to this day 100% stand behind the product. It is so good and it is worth the splurge. This one is something else in the kitchen that isn't super expensive, but I think it is still a splurge and that is the silicone cooking mat. So I have the Amazon basics version because obviously it's the cheapest one and I didn't know if it was worth it. So basically they're these cooking mats that you would put on like a cooking tray to make cooking easier, to make cleanup easier. I'll be honest, I don't know what it does to improve like the cooking experience. I, I didn't even look into that because I truly don't care. I really bought them because it makes it so much easier to clean the pan and to clean the sheets in themselves and I always found myself using aluminum foil or wax paper not sustainable um, at all and it gets really expensive so I bought these and they're wonderful they're super easy to clean I don't get my um, my cookie sheets ruined all the time because I roast something just about every single day and I think they're like two or three bucks which to me I was like this is crazy it's not gonna work well it's gonna be a waste of money but oh my gosh are they so good if you've been thinking about picking up silicone cooking mats and you're like oh they're probably gonna be a waste of money they or not at all you're literally never gonna buy aluminum foil ever again and I've been using like the like now that I'm not using aluminum foil and parchment paper I've been using the same roll of plastic wrap for like three years now because that's how infrequently I really need to cover something because everything has like a cover so it has cut down on my use of aluminum foil which I love not only for the environment but also for my pocket but the next bougie Amazon item that is worth the splurge is the Philips hue light bulb now I talk about them time and time again because they are worth it I have them in my living room and in my bedroom and basically they are smart light bulbs but they're smarter than all of the other smart light bulbs before you go you can just buy an $8 smart light bulb true but this one can sync with other light bulbs and it can create scenes so that means it can look like um, a rainbow it can look like this it can look like that and you can schedule the lights to turn on at certain time turn off at certain times dim at certain times so like for us we have it to set to dim at a certain time at night time so it's like okay Kiva it's time to relax babe it's time to go to sleep and they can also lull you awake in the morning so you can have it like slowly turn on so that your room is illuminated instead of having just an alarm clock in case you want you know to wake up with the sun even if you live in like a cave of a bedroom like we do I love these lights I love that I can turn them on from anywhere and I think they're really great for home security as well if you're not home you can have them set to come on and turn off without you having to be home if you're not getting a house sitter or anything like that I say that like I don't have a house sitter I do so please don't come rob me I'm gonna talk about one more bedding item and that is these goose down pillows so I actually normally use down alternative pillows I just found some really great new down alternative pillows that I love more than the Beckham pillows um, because the Beckham pillows had like a manufacturing switch so they, the quality just wasn't there anymore so I wanted to find an alternative one of you sent it in to me and it is so good way better so I'll link those down below but if you want a really luxury feel goose down pillows are kind of the way for it because they really um, mold they really contort to your body and they can be nice and fluffy and airy to give you a nice luxe look so I found these ones on Amazon um, they're not as cheap as down pillows, uh, down alternative pillows, obviously, but these are down pillows that look good, don't smell, and they fluff super well. So if you're looking to elevate your bedding arrangement, this is how you can do so. Now we are moving into the colder months, which means um, our homes are getting colder. It's just uncomfortable and we hate that for us. So one of the ways I kind of like to elevate my experience, and it's something a little bit bougie, is to have a towel warmer. So I have this one from Amazon. You've seen me share it before, but now's the time to bring it out. It can fit two bath sheets at a time. 
time. It can fit multiple towels. You can use it for your slippers. You can use it for blankets. You can use it for anything. Basically what you do is you turn it on and you press 15, 30, 45, or 60 minutes and it will warm your towel for that period of time. You can also put your robes in there and I actually just picked up a robe which I will talk to you about very shortly, but this is incredible. I love walking out of the shower and having a nice warm towel to envelop me in and it warms up really, really quickly. You don't have to remember to turn it on like five or 10 minutes before so that can warm up your towel. Even if you take a five minute little shower, it will be nice and warm and toasty by the time you are getting out of the shower. Now, like I said, you can put your robe in there and I just picked up these robes from Amazon and they are a pretty penny. Now, I knew these robes were good because I tried them at one of my favorite hotels, Nazook, um, and I wanted to steal it, but I knew that the incidental charge for stealing that was gonna be a lot higher than just buying my own. So these are fantastic. Last time I was at Nazook, I lived in it. Like, oh my gosh, it's the most comfortable robe I've ever felt. It, you, you don't wanna put clothes on. You don't wanna use a blanket. You don't need anyone to cuddle you anymore. This robe is it. It comes in gray and white, and then it comes in small, medium, and then large, extra large. I have large, extra large. It has plenty of space for me so you can look at me and then you can look at yourself and then you can kind of decide on the sizing but man is this good and I love to heat it up in my towel warmer it just gives me a nice elevated luxe experience at home without having to go to the spa because the spa is too expensive and then it's just the spa every day at my house I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this one but we're talking about bougie finds that kind of elevate our experiences and I have struggled a lot recently um, with acne and I've been on like a no makeup journey trying to get my face really nice and clean and clear so that I can kind of be myself at that having to wear makeup um, just because I want to be me there's nothing wrong with like wearing makeup I just don't want to so as a part of like my skincare journey I noticed that my face was still really dirty at the end of the day so something I invested in is these clean skin club towels so they're single use towels I don't use them in a single use way but these are single use towels that you can use to dry off your face to clean your face all of that good stuff so I use them every day and my acne has cleared up so much as a result of using this because even if you're washing your washcloths or your towels you still have built up detergent on there they don't get perfectly clean there's still leftover bacteria and so that just kind of messes up your face if you're really struggling with acne so I did invest in these now what I do with them to be a little bit more sustainable is I will use them for my face. So I'll use them to dry off my face or clean my face. And then I'll use them to clean off my countertop or to dust my mirrors or something like that. So I just kind of keep them stockpiled, use them again, um, and then I will discard of them. So it's kind of like what you would do with a paper towel, but you can use it multiple times. This has just really improved my skin a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. It gets off like that extra layer of debris that's just kind of left over even after you wash your face. And I've seen so much improvement thanks to these, so I had to share them. Last but not least, I'm sharing another skincare item just because it is a bougie find that just is so worth the splurge. And this is the snail mucin. So I have seen so many videos of the snail mucin. I thought it was like a joke, but this is so good. It has helped like rehydrate my face, especially when I travel. We just went to Bora Bora and you know, airplanes can really suck all the moisture out of your face this was fantastic we didn't have any problems at all and this has really just again helped me with my skincare journey to really make my skin so much better okay you guys that is it for today's video those are some bougie finds from amazon that are totally worth the splurge i will link a few other ones down below as well what items from amazon are worth the splurge for you be sure to let me know down in the comments if you liked today's video please don't forget to subscribe like this video and check me out on instagram and until next time have a beautiful day